I am Dr. Suarshla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Today I am going to explain about ovulation induction. It is the first line of treatment when a couple approaches us for uh, infertility and uh, if all other factors are fine, which is if the tubes are patent, which is uh, not blocked or um, her ovaries are uh, uh, good, how do we know that? She has regular periods. If her uh, cycles are regular, if the periods are regular between 26 days to 32 days, which means her uterus is also good and her husband's sperms are also uh, in the within the natural parameters, then we consider ovulation induction. But to choose ovulation induction, the very critical point here is the, the married life, the, the uh, more than the married life, the duration for which they have been trying. Uh, if they have been trying for uh, one year continuously with unprotected sex and they have not been able to get pregnant, it is the time for them to approach a fertility specialist. However, if the couple is, uh, if the woman especially is uh, more than 30 years, especially if she's around 35, it's better to approach a fertility specialist for help with at least minimal investigations uh, uh, once they are, th you know, th uh, close to 35 and the duration should be six months. So if you are 35 or more, you've tried for six months and you're not getting pregnant, it's better to approach a fertility specialist for uh, preliminary investigations. So let us look at um, ovulation induction. As the name suggests, ovulation induction is nothing but making sure that uh, we can decide when the ovulation is happening. So this is usually uh, uh, performed in patients whose cycles are a little irregular or uh, the woman has uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome where the, uh, the idea um, that the egg is ovulating is not uh, you know clearly understood because the periods are also irregular. In such women, ovulation induction works very well. It's a very simple procedure where medications are given from day two of periods and um, these are continued for about five, six days uh, and the patient is called back for an ultrasonography. The ultrasonography is just to decide if the uh, ovaries are responding well to the medications which are given. Now these medications are nothing but uh, hormones which the brain is already releasing. So do not be worried, these, these help in the growth of the eggs and have very minimal side effects. So once these tablets are given for 5-6 days, the woman is called back for ultrasonography. It is observed whether the egg is res the ovaries are responding to this medication and they are growing well uh, inside the ovaries. Inside the ovary is where the egg is growing and it is monitored by a ultrasonography. Once it is reached the proper size, which is about 18 to 20 millimeters, that's when the, the egg is uh, made to release from the ovaries and come inside the tube. Now this is called, uh, you know, in, in our terms it is called the trigger injection where the egg is triggered to get released from the ovaries and come into the tubes. Now this is a very critical time for the couple to try on their own uh, to have intercourse without protection so that when the sperms are deposited in the, in the cervix, in the entrance of the the uterus, the semen is left behind and the sperms swim up. Once they swim up, the uh, the egg which is waiting in the tubes uh, can be fertilized and then the embryo uh, can be implanted, implanted within the endometrium. So it's a very simple procedure and um, uh, it can be monitored very well with ultrasonography. So that is ovulation induction. This can be done if the woman's age is less than 30. Uh, it can be done uh, very comfortably for about uh, three to six times, provided all factors are met with. Like I said, the factors are that the ovaries have a good uh, uh, number of um, oocytes, eggs. The tubes are open. Remember, the tubes have to be open on both sides. The endometrium is good. How do we know that? We know that by regular periods and the partner's sperms are uh, are within the WHO normal parameters. So these four important things have to be kept in mind when you approach a doctor or a doctor has suggested you for ovulation induction. In case you are interested in this line of treatment, uh, please contact us. You can see numbers on the screen. Take an appointment and please come down. Thank you.